In celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, students from Harvest Collegiate were in Spanish Harlem at the Julia de Burgos Latino Cultural Center, taking part in a workshop to learn about a centuries-old musical tradition from Puerto Rico. Every time that we have the chance to go on and perform, we always ask for these kind of uh, workshops. Grammy-nominated performing artist Hector Tito Matos, director of La Máquina Insular, a bomba plena band, performed for students and shared why he feels the urgency to bring bomba music to a new generation. It's imperative to us, especially here in, in El Barrio, where there are still uh, a big community of Boricuas that we instill in them the importance of, of their tradition, so they embrace it. Among those enjoying the workshop, even participating in a drumming exercise, was Jalen Ramos, who is Dominican, Puerto Rican, and Colombian. I'm from a lot of different places, so I get to experience each one differently for my mom and my dad, so it's cool that I could in enjoy both at the same time. That is the goal of Matos, who says the tradition comes from Africa. Bomba specifically was the music developed by slaves brought to the islands as far back as the late 1600s. Plena is newer, and with many searching for their origins within cultures, Mato says he sees the same among Puerto Ricans and those from other islands in the Caribbean. They are going back to, to school, they are studying, they are comparing the tradition to, to similar forms in the Caribbean, for instance, from Guadalupe and Martinique and Haiti. So they are growing the, the tradition. I'm really glad I did come. It, was really fun and I really liked the music and I would be glad if I'm able to enjoy this experience again. Organizer Juan Jose Gutierrez Rodriguez says the workshop is his mission to keep Bomba alive. To promote the music, to practice the music and uh, learn the music that the youngsters, the younger generation of uh, that ensemble, just to you know be able to, to be part of that atmosphere of the elders and uh, you know, breathe everything that they were. Everything that they were being experienced anew today. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.